Her car was stolen and then used to break into the parking lot at the Jefferson North assembly plant. Those thieves then dumped her car and drove off with the vehicles hot off the assembly line. Now the mother of five is trying to get her car back. Larry Spruill reports from Detroit's east side. Good evening, Sandra. There have been multiple incidents where thieves would steal stolen cars and try to get inside here. Now, I spoke with the latest victim. She tells me this is more than just someone stealing her car. Honey, the car is gone. That's the first thing Lolita White could even utter out of her mouth Wednesday morning as she was getting ready for work. She noticed her white 2006 Durango was gone. Lolita and her husband Charles tell me they were baffled because there were no signs that the thieves broke into the car. It was right here. And it was locked. It was locked. They immediately called police, but they were more shocked when they turned on the TV the next day, only to realize their truck was involved in a string of car thefts. Local 4 reported on the multiple car thefts. Thieves would steal cars and try to get inside this Chrysler transport lot. White tells me you can see her car and the blanket she kept inside in this video. But now they're missing other items that belong to their five kids. Four car seats, a brand new double stroller. Which makes things even more difficult to get around, even if they're able to catch a ride. No transportation, so even when I do get transportation, I can't even take it because I don't have safety. I don't have car seats to transport my children in it. But here's where the story takes another twist. Just days later, police informed them they located their car in one piece, but they could not get it back because it's now part of an investigation. I don't see why they couldn't get out there the next day and fingerprint and take pictures and call us and say, hey, come get y'all vehicle. We know y'all got kids. We, we ain't trying to hold y'all up. We need our vehicle back. My kids got to get back and forth. And I did speak to Detroit Police Department. A spokesperson tells me that officers are now trying to dust that car for fingerprints. It's all a part of an investigation, but they say they are working as quickly as they can in order to give the family back their vehicle. Reporting tonight, Larry Sproul, Local 4.